Okay, so we've got brass as a useful alloy of copper and zinc. To determine the percentage of copper in a brass screw, a student dissolved the screw in 20 centimetres cubed of conch nitric acid and made the resulting solution up to 250 in a volumetric flask. Five standard solutions were prepared by diluting 0.1 molar stock solution of copper tea nitrate with deionized water. One of the standard solutions has a concentration of 0.01 molar. Describe fully how this 0.01 molar solution should be prepared in a 50 centimetre cubed volumetric flask from the 0.1 molar stock solution. It is worth two marks, that means you're going to have to give two points here. Okay, right, so we are going from a 0.1 to a 0.01. So we've got a 1 in 10 dilution, basically. Okay, so we're going to end up with a 50 centimetre cube. So we need five of the original. So that's your first mark, is saying that you're going to need five centimetres cubed of the original. And then your second mark is going to actually describe it properly. So we've got a volumetric flask, so that's fine. That's one of you know these dudes with the perfectly marked line. Okay, So you're going to say that you're going to add your five centimetres cubed now, I would just say using um, pipette, okay? You could, if you prefer, use a burette, okay? And then you fill with deionized uh, to, your, to your line, your graduate line. And that's it, okay? Right, we've got the colorimeter was fitted with a suitable filter and set to zero using a reference. Absorbance of the five standard solutions determined, calibration curve grown. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. We've got our concentration going along the bottom, our absorbance up the side. Name the substance that should be used to set the colorimeter to zero. Okay, so what we've got here is a sample which we need to zero everything else against. What we're doing is just dilutions using deionized water, so our zero should be deionized water. Okay, so we're just looking for for our mark. I might change the thickness of the pen. It's a little bit too thick. Okay. Um, absorbance of the sample solution was 0.71. Sample solution was then diluted to increase the decrease concentration by half. The absorbance of this was measured. Explain why the sample solution was diluted. Okay, so we've got to look at this in terms of this experiment. If we look at our absorbance at 0 0.71, this is up here. We, it's off the line, basically. We're, we're kind of looking up here. And that would be a full extrapolation for this line, and that's not what you want to do. If, however, I, I half it in terms of my concentration, I'm going to be round about here. So then I'm going to be on the calibration line. Okay, so that's what you need to mention. Okay, the fact that it was off the calibration point. Okay, um, so yeah, so it brings brings down onto calibrated line or calibration line. Okay, um, right. Three marks on this one, so you're gonna have to do a fair amount of calculation. The mass, lots of different ways around it could do it though. The mass of the screw was 1.43 grams. The absorbance of the diluted solution was 0.34. Calculate the percentage by mass of copper in the screw. Right, so first of all, let's get the data that we're gonna need for this. Okay, so absorbance was 0.34. So if absorbance is 0.34, I'm gonna change my pen line because I've just doodled on it already. So here's my red dot is going where that one is. That's pretty nice. It's going straight. It's going onto a, an actual cross point of the car of the lines, down here. So 0 0.032. Okay. So 0 0.032 is our concentration in moles per liter. So we're going 0 0.032. For my for my copper ions, okay. Um, sorry, that little hiccup was me just checking that I'd written down my right sums. Okay, so we've got um, our concentration just from our our sample there, um, but it is diluted. Remember, so we have to do. I'm just oh, that's okay. Right, so we have to multiply that by two because it was diluted by a half. So my concentration is zero point six four. Now you could do this that multiple by two. You can do that at any point, okay. Um, but I'm just doing it at the front because it's easier. Well, I think it's easier. Okay, right, so now we've got moles is concentration times volume. 
So our 0 0.064 times our volume, remember it's 250 mil from the top, and that gives us 0 0.016, okay? Right now I've got moles, I can work out mass. Just mass is moles times formula mass. So 0 0.016 times our 63.5 formula mass for copper, and that gives me 1.016 grams and then I'm looking for percentage. Percentage is going to be 1.016 over my 1.43 because that's my original from up here and that gives me 71%. Okay so basically this where we're going for one mark, one mark, one mark. So obviously this you need this that's one mark down here okay and then you're looking for two of the two of these parts basically so you want you want one mark where you've got your multiplying taking into account and one mark where you're getting your moles through to mass okay right that's that one sorry it's the first one i've done so it's a bit of a mess